What's up everybody, this is Kevin here from Happy Beard Games, and today we're playing some NES game, Star Force. It's an arcade style shoot 'em up uh, I'm not sure if it's only on the NES, it might be arcade as well, but I'm not really sure about that. Now it's sort of an improvement upon Galaga, but it's a little bit closer aligned with Xevious, or Xevious, however you want to pronounce that. And um, yeah, so it's sort of along the lines of Galaga, as you are a spaceship... Um, fighting wave after wave of continuous other spaceships in a space battle. Now, in addition, you have, it's a little more like Xevious as it's a continuous path. There is levels, but it's a continuous path. It's not just wave after wave coming at you. It's you going forward through them. Now, this is one of the first NES games that I bought back in 2009, 2010, and what really got me into it was the classic arcade style uh, gameplay and the feel of the classic arcade controller. Now, I do have the Advantage, which has a more arcade-style joystick, but this has a flight-style joystick um, with the A and B buttons. I'm not sure which one is which, actually, but on this game, both buttons do the same thing, A and B. Um, you also have a Start and Select up there, which is weird, because it's, like it's a weird Start and Select on this controller. It also has an Auto-Fire switch, so you can just hold it down, which is really cool. Um, now, this is actually the Quick Shot for the NES. It's a pretty cool little controller. You might see me review it in the future. You don't know. I don't know, we don't know, but it's a really cool controller and I do recommend playing it when you're playing Star Force. Uh, I actually bought these together, luckily they had both of them together at a used store, but I will not be using it today for this reason. Uh, I could hold it down, but the reason is the click, it's very loud, it's not as loud as some controllers. But uh, it's it's not really that loud, but on video it is. So I, I, I'd recommend that for um, for uh, people that play it but not record with it. So that's why I'm not using it today. However, I am going to try out some new control style schemes with my fingers on this uh, NES controller here. So let's get started today on Happy Beard Games with Star Force on the NES. Start up Star Force, um, 1987 tech mode, licensed by Nintendo of America, push start. The controls are fairly simple, I think. Uh, well, of course it's an NES game, but um, let's see how this goes. I have not played this in a long time. We got A and B are the same shoot, so let's just shmup them up. Uh, shmup everything. Oh wow, they move in that weird pattern there. Button everything, but pushing all the buttons. For some reason all this would be like Xevious. But I think you don't have any bombs that you drop. I think you just you can shoot everything. Which is, I kind of like that better. It's a little less, uh, you don't have to think as much. But, uh, it, it's, it's still cool. I think you can get pickups too, like power-ups and stuff. Wow, I almost got killed there. This is one of those things where you got one life, guys. Well, you don't got one life, but you got one hit, basically, before you explode. It's like, it's like a Galaga. It's like Galaga, guys. Think about Galaga. Classic arcade. This is a really intense guy. I'm actually doing alright, though. I'm doing all right, yeah. Oh my god, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm back. My thumb is sore. My thumb is sore. I cannot button mash these two buttons together at the same time anymore. Um, I was like hitting A and B at the same time, so I'm just gonna stick with the F. The B button, B button. There we go. What is this thing? Oh, I thought I wasn't getting him. Oh no! We got a man down. We got ship down. Ship down. Ship, ship, ships ahoy! Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What's all this stuff? What is that? I want it. Oh, we're gonna expando! Expando Transformers! More than meets the eye. We gotta, um... Sounds like a boss is coming up. This is action. Attack Alpha Target! Heck yeah. We're gonna go for that Alpha Target. Where's the Alpha Target? He's flowing with me. He's flowing with me. Oh, we got him! We cleared him! 2,000 points for the B and the lower B. We got 4,000 points. I'm not sure what those are. I think those are you, you, those things that I was destroying. You get points for killing a certain amount of them. So we're at Area B now. It's a really good soundtrack, though. Currently, I can't hear it too well uh, because of the recording. But uh, you know what? I, that's, that's enough of that. <laughs> enough of that background info. 
Okay, let's let's continue with this. We're gonna keep playing for a little bit longer. So when you when you get killed, you lose your uh your extra ship part. Which sucks. Which sucks! But I'll get it back on the second playthrough. We're gonna play through this three times, guys. Three continues. Just to make it into a full video, and I, I shouldn't have even been talking about that. Let's focus this time, Kevin, come on. This does make your thumb really sore. You can auto fire if you just hold it down, but it's a little bit slower. Uh, so if you if you just button mash really fast, you can get it really good. I might have to switch my play style. See, normally I use a, a joystick on this game, um, or something with auto fire, but that's cheating, so I'm not going to do that. Sounds very Donkey Kong-ish. Okay, well, let's, that was Star Force, and we're going to play it two more times, guys. We got three lives to fly. And we're gonna we're gonna do this, okay? Let's do. I'm gonna try a different pattern. I'm gonna try putting it like this on my lap and just tapping it. So that's kind of what I normally do with the uh, other controller. I have like a joystick controller. I also have a flight stick controller, and I got a lot of weird controllers on the NES. But um, it's the NES, what do you know? Kind of like the Wii. They made a whole bunch of controllers for it. And even Super Nintendo to an extent, but uh, more more so on the NES. Not so much on other systems, I guess. You know, this is actually working out all right. This is really working out all right, actually. It's kind of cool, actually. I never really thought about doing it like this. And I'm using the NES 2 controller, the dog bone shaped one, by the way, guys. Uh, so it, it does look a little different than the one on my hat. I, I didn't really think about that, but I, I don't really... Well, I, ha I, have, I have two of the original NES controllers, but I don't... I really like this one, because I got this one more recently. And uh, I actually got it on accident, because I ordered it, and uh, uh, they sent me this one instead for some reason at GameStop. What, what blew me up? What blew me up? What, what even hit me there? I was like in the zone. <laughs> I didn't know what happened. Maybe I crashed into some- Oh, what? No, that's bull. Okay, that, 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 I don't know what hit me the first time, though. I'm gonna have to rewatch that and like annotate it or something. Oh, no, no. Come on, guy. That was doing so good. This control works really well when you're just tapping it like this, like tap dance, like a DDR with your fingers. We're gonna try this maybe one more time because I don't know what hit me there the first time and it threw me off. So I, I gotta, gotta focus on this. You go really fast if you go like that with your fingers. You can even tap, do a double tap, tap, dance extravaganza there, and uh, Tony Danza it up. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Or do I? I probably do actually. I always know what I'm saying. See what I'm saying? Oh, oh well, man. Come on. Come on, dude. Focus on one button. One button else to hurt your fingers. It's like your fingers have their own HP bar of their own outside of the game. And if you, you uh, don't tap... Oh my god, the lag. I think I was making it lag because I was shooting too much. And there's too much bad guys as well. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. It was just the bad guys. Bad guys making my game lag, and I'm losing my controller grip, so I need to pick it up. I'm gonna, like tape this to my leg or something next time. Put a belt on my leg and put it over the controller. Oh, man, okay, we got it. We're, we're, we're doing good all right now. No, this is the hard part where these guys come. Out. Oh, he sneaks up behind you, and he just happened to be at the part that I was at. That's what he did. That little beach ball. Oh, there he is. I got him. 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 That stays with you until you die, which is a good buddy. It's a good buddy. Oh, what? I, I thought you... For some reason I thought he'd take a hit from me. <laughs> Come on, what are those things? Those little left and right looking things. Oh god. Look at me, I want to get to the boss. I don't know how I got to the boss the first time, because I didn't seem like I was doing as good as I am now. But I, I did. And here's the cool music. We're rocking on now. It's like Power Rangers. Come on. Well, we can do this, Kevin. And probably good games. Let's go. Let's do this. Yeah. I think I got more bees, and I got less big bees than last time. The first time that I cleared that, like a bouse. Now this is a tough game. I think I've only made it to like the third zone or the third area, is what they call it. Um, that was in my heyday, in my prime. Now, this is a, this is a tough game. I don't think you can continue. And it's a little different than Galaga because you've got... Well, it's just, I guess it's closer to Xevious, now that I think about it. I don't have Xevious currently, but... Um, well, I have it on Atari, but um, I don't have it on any else. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm gonna try a button at normal. It's so hard to get past this stuff. I think I got an extra life! Oh, wow, I got an extra life! Okay. 
Oh, we got focus. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't even know what I'm trying to say, but I, I'm trying to say that it's not just the same level and patterns every time, like on Galaga. It's uh, it's different. It's like an adventure. Let's give it one more shot. One more shot. Get an extra life here, guys. Extra life. Continue. Let's uh, let's go. Cause it's only been like nine minutes. This is a short game, arcade style. A lot of fun, and I wish I could tell you more about it, but I don't really know that much about it because obviously I'm not that good at it. But um, but it is a really fun game. It's it's, it's addicting. It's like like if I was at the arcade, I'd be spending like dollars on this man, dollars, big bucks. But um, I don't know. It's like it's, just, it's like a Galaga, but it's more fast paced and there's more stuff to do in it. And I, I wish they would continue the Galaga series. You know what I mean? They do a little bit, but it's mostly like Namco Museum stuff. With like slightly added things, but they need to do like a Galaga, like like next gen Galaga, like this. It'd be like, it'd be like, I don't know, I don't know what I'm talking about. Like, there's a lot of shmups coming on currently. A lot of them are those uh, sort of anime style uh, shmups from Japan. Well, I guess this is from Japan too, but uh, more like the modern ones are like indie anime style. They're pretty cool too. I'm not, I'm not even kidding. I played some of them on Steam. They're pretty fun. But this is really fun too. I'm wondering if there's any more of this game. Um, I don't really know if there is. I think there might be a sequel to this, but I, I need to look into that. I haven't really even thought about this game until today, after like a long time of uh, not not even playing this at all. And it's just a really, really fun game. I love zoning out on this. I'm kind of zoned out right now, but it's, it's hard because you can fly around the whole screen, so I, I'm, I kind of expect to stay at the bottom in the back row and uh, be okay, but you're not okay. And sometimes those things on the ground, they kind of block your shot because they'll take the hits that you're shooting. And, uh, instead of, um, the actual enemy. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Here's the boss with the, with the double. The double boss. Come on. Or watch out for these turrets that come out. They can blow it up, too. And can blow them up. There we go. 2000, 2000! Even Kevin. Even Kevin. Even Keel. Okay, here we go. We got, got, got a good score going on here, guys. This is a cool music. Oh, oh, oh! That was not cool. Okay, we gotta get an extra life. Come on, let's get some bonuses. Just kill everything. Or not. Alright, that's Star Force on the NES. Um, Star, I don't know much more about it, and I'm not that skilled at it, so I can't really, you know, tell you about it. But it is, once again, an arcade game. So I don't think it's meant to have, like, a straightforward story slash level slash ending. Um, but uh, it's a lot of fun, even though it's difficult. And it's one of those games that you just want to keep coming back to every once in a while. And when you do, it's still a lot of fun to to continue to play. So I might actually play this some more, but I'm not sure because I've got time to edit. But anyways, um, yeah. Thanks for watching Howie Weird Games play Star Force on the NES. Until next time, stay tuned to Howie Weird Games for more classic gaming goodness. Alright, if you want to support my channel, by the way, you can like the video, comment, and let me know what you think, share it with your friends to let me know what they think, and then subscribe today if you have not to support my channel the most. Um, and you can check out my other videos if you subscribe, because I have a lot of videos currently. And this is part of a new series that I'm doing called Happy Bird Games Plays. Um, it's going to have a little more video content, and it's going to improve on every episode. That's what I'm working for. I'm working hard on these ones. So I'm focusing on games that I love, and uh, making videos of them. So that way, maybe more people will love them as well. Um, okay, guys. Thanks for watching Happy Bird Games. Until next time, Happy Bird Games. We'll see you then. Happy Bird Games, out!